cables. It'll take me forever to untangle them. What's this? Hmm, what is charger? To avoid these troublesome cables, well, I prefer this wireless charger. Um, well, it is much more um, easier, simpler, and more convenient. And I think that's why um, these wireless chargers are more popular these days. Um, well, you only need to put your phone on this wireless charger stand and it will charge your phone immediately. So I'll definitely choose wireless chargers instead of the traditional ones. Well, we have um, this wireless charger pack, um, the wireless charger stand, and also all these um, you know, products to help you, um, you know, make a wireless charge. But have you ever thought of, um, you know, get rid of the batteries and chargers so you don't have to charge your phone every day? You know what? Um, this may become real because your phone could be powered by Wi-Fi really soon. Yeah, we all know that if you connect your phone to Wi-Fi, it will cost you more power consumption than before. And, well, so that's why we will turn off the Wi-Fi when the battery is about to die. Um, but now, US Engineering recently um, developed a technology that enables you to charge your phone while surfing the internet when you connect it to Wi-Fi. This technology is called Pole Wi-Fi, and it uses ambient backscatter well, that taps into Wi-Fi signals and transforms it into power. They have now tested a prototype router in several homes already. Ambient Backscatter, also known as Wi-Fi Backscatter, on which the technology is based, enables two battery-free radio frequency power devices um, to communicate by wireless signals. Um, the router sends out uh, radio waves which then convert into direct current voltage using what's known as a um, rectifier. So actually, um, this is similar to solar energy technology because um, it's like how we uh, make solar panels to convert light energy into electrical energy. Well, in terms of the um, devices, the research showed the router could power a battery-free camera placed up to 5 uh, meters away from the router and most of the testers said um, they didn't receive a noticeable Wi-Fi connectivity the difference in their user experience. Besides Wi-Fi charging, there are some other researchers made innovative attempts. Um, infrared lab charging. This year, an Israel company um, developed a system to convert energy into infrared light and to charge the devices. Flower pot charging. Some Chilean engineers invented a biological charging tech. They made the plant into a small charging station uh, because, you know, uh, photosynthesis is a process of changing light energy to chemical energy. And the flower pot charging technology captured the energy in this process and convert into electricity. Urine powered charging. Uh, some UK scientists have developed a novel way of charging your mobile phone. Well, using urine as the power cells to generate the electricity. They use microbial fuel cell as an energy converter, and you know, which turns the organic matter directly into electricity. Yeah, you know, because well, our urine is absolutely an unending supply. <laughs> These special charging methods can make the most use of energy, but for now, they're not mature enough to widely adapt it in our mobile phones. So, um, while we're waiting for the scientific progresses, you really should try some wireless charger first. Okay, that's it. Um, make sure you go to our website to check these wireless chargers, and well, I'll see you next time.